everybody it's Mandy here so something I actually have a lot of people ask me about often is my dog car crate setup um, of course you know <laughs> seeing it as an outsider it probably looks pretty elaborate but there's actually a pretty good reason why I have invested in this so think about it right you're riding in the car if your dogs are loose one they could be trying to jump in the seat Two, if you're in an accident, not only are dogs going to be possibly ejected from the car and flying around, they could also actually injure any of the human riders in there. Think about how heavy a dog is, right? So Goose is probably about 80 pounds. Merlin's currently about 50, 60. That's going to cause some serious damage to both you and the dog if they're not crated. So here I've actually got some rough land kennels. I went with these kennels because they are relatively safe. So they're made from a single roto mold, which means that if you were in an accident, your dog is gonna hit this, it's gonna distribute the force and ultimately keep them safe. So here I've actually got two large kennels. So this is a 2021 Chevy Traverse. I picked this vehicle specifically because I knew it would fit two large kennels for both of my dogs. On the top here, I've got some vet vaccine information. This is for quick and easy access if I'm at a trial or if I'm at a kennel or something and I need some updated vet records. Um, I've also got some name plates with the dog's names on them, some cute stickers. Down here, these are, I've got them turned backwards for the video, but they actually have my emergency contact information on them, my phone number. Um, that's for dog trials. So we compete in barn hunt. And essentially there are times when you leave one or both dogs in the vehicle and that's just in case someone sees something that's kind of strange or maybe they're concerned about they can give me a call and i can get back to my dog quickly so i'll give you a quick look inside like i said these are the large ruffland kennels so this is merlin's crate um mine the dog hair like i said i do have two goldens so this is a primo pad i did buy this because the bottom of the ruffland kennel does have a groove which is great because if there's any accidents or water the um, it'll actually instead of your dog laying in it, it'll run to the sides. However, especially in the smaller kennels, that can sometimes make it a little uncomfortable for your dog to lay down. So this is just it gives it a cushy, um, also durable. It's kind of made of the material that you would often see in like gyms, gymnasiums, high school gyms, um, at like the end of the basketball goals. It's the best way I can describe it. So I'll go ahead and shut this. So up here. I have a canine emergency info tube. Now this tube, um, it has information similar to these flaps. However, I don't really like to open this because it's not exactly easy to get everything in there. These are more accessible. And this also has more information. So in the event that I'm in an accident, and my dogs are in the car, this basically has information about who their vet is, the dogs, any medications they're on, any um, medical information. It also has who to contact in case there's a worst case scenario. So this is just, you know, useful to have in here in case I'm not able to speak for the dogs. So something else that's important with these crates is not only to make sure that you have them, but to make sure that they're strapped down. So obviously, you know, if you're in an accident, you don't want this crate flying around just like you don't want your dog flying around, right? So to secure these, I actually have some D-rings. So the ruffling kennels come with screws on all four corners, the top, and then on the bottom, front, and back. So I have some D-rings on the outside of both of the crates and I have a ratchet strap ran through them. So the ratchet is actually connected to these front hooks in the Chevy Traverse. Now, each vehicle is gonna be a little different for how you secure this. This is the best configuration I came up for my vehicle. So I have these run through here and then they are actually connected to the car seat latches on the back of the seats. So Merlin's, I'm not gonna be able to put the seat down and show you, but the car seat strap that is right here, and Goose's crate is connected to the car seat strap in the middle. Um, it's actually like that because pretty soon I'm going to need the car seat latch behind my son's seat when he turns forward facing. So that's why it's like that. So what else do I have here in my dog car crate setup? So underneath the crates, I have a weather tech mat. This is important for obvious reasons and you can actually see why here so there is nothing worse than having a bunch of dog hair embedded in your car and once it's in the carpet i'm going to be honest it's pretty much it's, it's there for the life of your car so i got that to not only protect my vehicle but it's easy to clean and pull out too so that's another reason i picked this one now the specific model i bought has the bumper guard and i got that you can for obvious reasons also so um the dog you know when they're jumping in and out of the crates you don't want them to scratch up your bumper i do actually have a few 
it's raining a little bit. I don't know if you can see it here, but I have a few scratches where Goose has missed that. And that would be what the entire bumper looked like without that bumper guard. So other items that I like to keep in my car for when we're doing barn hunt or other activities. I like to keep this high wave water bottle in here. So I do keep water in this and basically, this is pretty neat. So you can squeeze this and the water will come out. The dog can drink it. And whenever you release it, the water runs back into the top. It also twists shut so that it won't spill. And that's just really easy to keep in here. I've got some paper towels, a towel, you know, just in case there's an accident. Some disinfecting wipes for the same reason. And I also have some little magnets. So I use these during barn hunt to secure different items. So for example, they latch onto your car just like this. You can use them to hang your keys, hang collars, leashes, whatever. And then you can take them down when you're done. So that's pretty much everything I keep here in the back. Um, also worth noting that on the crates themselves, I keep poop bags. Just, you know, because they are dogs and dogs are gonna do what dogs are gonna do. And then I've also got these little clips here. This is where I clip their leashes. So it keeps everything organized, keeps it from flying around, making noise in the car. So basically I just put both dogs in here. I'll clip Merlin's leash here when he's in the crate. And I keep clip pieces here when he's in the crate. So other things that are useful for barn hunt that I'll also keep in my car. An Illuminate. So this is a huge Illuminate. So basically what it does is it covers my entire vehicle and it'll hang down right here a little bit like a tarp. And it keeps my vehicle 10 to 15 degrees cooler by reflecting the sun off my vehicle. So that's pretty nice. I've also got some little bungees that I use to tie around the mirrors to keep it on during the wind. Ryobi fans are also very useful. So these basically come with rechargeable, rechargeable batteries similar to what you would use in like a power drill. And they, yeah, they put out quite a bit of, I know you won't be able to feel that in the video, but it puts out quite a bit of air. So what I'll do during a dog trial is I'll actually take these fans and I do have two of them and I will put them right here and that blows air into the dog to help keep them cool. Other neat items I have, I have this Roughland water hole. So instead of lugging a jug and a collapsible bowl to trials, what I'll usually do is I will fill this up and you can travel with it laying on its side like this and all the water will stay down in this tube. Whenever you get where you're going, you can take this, sit it upright and the water will come out and it's a really good portable dog waterer. And last but not least, I also have our training bag. So I don't only use this for trials, but I also actually use this for dog training. So we actually have dog training class tonight, which is why this is in here. So I've got Merlin's harness currently. I have a fanny pack, which I use as a treat bag. I've got a prong collar, a mask, some extra leashes, some treats. Um, uh, in here, I also have a long lead, so it's 15 feet to practice our stays and recalls. Other items I like to keep in here, I have some more magnets, more poop bags, and most importantly for barn hunt especially, is this. So, um, this has actually come in handy already once. So, during barn hunt, you know, obviously there's a lot of straw, the dogs are digging around, running, tunneling, climbing. If straw or dirt or dust or whatever gets in their eye, it can be pretty painful and you want a way to get that out. So that's what this is for. I keep this in here so that I can rinse their eyes out if they get anything in there, keep them comfortable and safe. Actually, I forgot one thing. So in Goose's crate here, um, I do, if the dogs are obviously riding with me, I don't keep this in the crate, I keep this in the floorboard, but I have some stairs. So this is neat because Goose especially is pretty clumsy. So they collapse and fold out really quick and easy. And it helps get the dogs into the crate. Because as you can see, my car is a little high off the ground. But yeah, so it folds up and down. It's really lightweight. You can see I just did that with one hand. So these notches here sit on the edge of your trunk. And this right here, which you can't see because I've got this, but I can move it real quick. It can latch onto the, the trunk latch here and it'll keep it secure from falling over. Okay, well, I do believe that's a pretty thorough review of my dog sport car crate setup. Thank you everybody for watching. And like I said before, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below and I'll try to help out any way I can. Thanks.